shall next make a field range change in calibration of a Veritrac 56 DP transmitter. Secure a work permit to do the job. This includes a determination as to whether the system is intrinsically safe. If the transmitter is in a control loop, the controller must be placed on manual. Remove the transmitter from service by closing the two impulse valves and opening the equalizing valve. Depress the cell body by opening and closing the vents on the high and low pressure side. Be sure to wear your goggles. We shall change the range to 0 to 150 inches. A field range change should be within the limits of the body assembly in the meter. Connect a suitable calibrator to the high pressure side of the meter. and open the low side vent. Plug the 55 TS1 test set into the amplifier jack. With zero input to the high side of the transmitter, adjust the transmitter zero until the null meter shows no deflection with the selector at zero in the null section. With 150 inches of water input, adjust the span to where the null meter reads zero with the selector at 100%. The calibration procedure is the same as we did in the shop. Other items in the transmitter loop can be checked at this time. An accurate check of computer inputs should be made. Never calibrate a transmitter to a recorder. Or other loop items. Unless you are positive, an accurate calibration has been made of the particular loop item. The computer input is measured with a digital voltmeter. The computer millivolt input span versus the milliampere output span of the transmitter depends on the value of the computer input resistor. With zero pressure differential applied to our transmitter, The digital voltmeter should read the low end of the millivolt span. Here it is one volt. With 150 inches applied to the high side of the transmitter, the digital voltmeter should read the high end of the millivolt span. Here it is five volts. There are board-mounted instruments which do not require the accuracy of the computer. Some plants may desire that the zero and span of the transmitter be trimmed to make the computer input voltage exact and allow a tolerance of something in the order of 2% accuracy for the 1 to 5 volt items in the loop. These adjustments should be made with caution. The 55 TS1 is a very accurate test set.
If we get a perfect calibration in the field and the computer inputs are very far out, it is best to locate the trouble and correct it. After completing our zero to 150 inch field calibration, remove the test instruments and recommission the transmitter. Don't forget to put on the new range tag. And clean up the area. Now work exercise number three in your workbook.